I'm Heather Moyse and I am here in beautiful Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island at the Culinary Institute and guess who's cooking for me today? I am here with Chef Andrew Nicholson and he is going to show us how to make mashed potatoes, something that we eat all the time, how to make it much more exciting on a daily basis. We're going to, uh, we're going to do mashed potatoes but mostly everybody will peel their mashed potatoes before they do them. Right. But if you leave the skins on since they're still full of fiber, it actually adds a little more texture and versatility to the potato. Okay. So. Whenever you do your mashed potatoes, you want to stir them in cold water, whether you use chicken stock or vegetable stock for flavor. Um, and then you just make sure you cut them all the same size. Now, adding chicken stock uh, or vegetable stock instead of something like a sour cream will make it actually lighter. A lot of people think of mashed potatoes as being something really heavy and kind of, you know, that you feel that super full feeling, I guess. And I guess adding that chicken stock instead would make things a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter, yeah. Okay. And just yeah, adds, adds a little more flavor and dimension to it as well. And uh, nutritional value. So um, you have your mashed potatoes, then you can add whatever you want to the water. Okay. So, so here we have some Yukon Golds that we've boiled with some parsnips and, and garlic. And by adding the garlic, it milds out the garlic. So don't worry about that strong garlic flavor because okay. it, it kind of dilutes itself in the water. Okay, now these Yukon Gold potatoes, these look really yellow to me. What's the, what's the difference? Usually it's I'm seeing them white. Just their, just their, their flesh is just a very, and it gives you a better color and it, it gives you a little bit more of a, a buttery look on the plate. Okay. So a lot of people will use them. You can always use whites or you can use russets. Okay, whites, russets, or Yukon Gold or potatoes Yukon are the best for mashed best. potatoes. And these ones give you more color and fluffier, fluffier. I believe. Yeah. Good. Right? Now, you want to start them in cold water, and you only want to cook them until they're just fork tender. So put the fork in without any resistance. It should, the potatoes should fall right off. Then if it's cooked and you, and you drain the water off, if you let them sit in the water, they'll get saturated and, and gluey. So you want to drain the water off and then mash them right away so okay. that they don't get all sticky. All so right. I'm going to let you do the honors oh, of I'm doing the mashing. And we're going to season that with a little bit of salt and pepper. And this is gar garlic and parsnip and potatoes. Garlic, P. parsnip, potatoes. and pi potatoes. We're going to add a little salt and pepper, a little bit of buttermilk, just to cream them up a little bit, add a little extra flavor with the salt and pepper. Now, pi potatoes uh, do have advantages over other potatoes, I do believe. The soil, pei, have the best. It has the best conditions because it's full of potatoes. iron, and that red, ni the nice redness is the iron in the soil, and it gives a, a better product, uh, potato product. And also, PEI has got the right um, weather, conditions. weather conditions for yeah. it as well. Yeah. Perfect. So you can get those seasoned up, and I'm just going to taste them there to make sure that they're tasty. Okay. Oh, they're perfect. Okay, good. So what we're going to do is we have a little bit of fresh bruschetta, and we have some some braised pulled pork. Do you need them mashed more? No, nope, that's pretty good. And and you can mash them as much as it takes to get them as smooth as you want them. But if you want a little bit of texture in them, then, then they're considered a kind of a country style a little we'll call bit. Lumps texture. Lumps texture. So we're just going to take, to present them, most people just dollop them on the middle of the plate without any presentation. But if you just take a couple of spoons and just kind of shape them up a little bit, put that in the center, right? Keeping the potato as our, as our focal point. Then we can add a little bit of our pulled pork. Just a little bit to the side there. Okay, nice and tight. You want it around the center of the plate. And then we I can add a little bit of right a little bit of bruschetta on the side for color. And bruschetta, all, right. all you did here was diced up some tomatoes. A little garlic and onions and basil garlic and or chives. For time saver, if you just want to, yeah. just want to pick it up on the grocery store on the way home. You can always pick up some bruschetta. Right. And then a little dollop of. Sour cream right on top, just because it goes oh, well. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mashed potatoes. Wow, here we go. Mashed potatoes with some sides, since mashed potatoes is the right. focal point here. Right. So. Yeah. We've also done a couple of other different varieties. We also had the Yukon Golds. That's why we get the nice bright yellow butteriness. And we have some buttermilk and chives. Okay. We have roasted garlic and sour cream. So yes. just roast the whole bulb of garlic in the oven or the, the individual cloves. Okay. Mash them up with your potatoes. Sauteed mushrooms and, and thyme. Which would be nice on the side of a steak. Side of a steak or braised ribs or whatever. And then we also have just the herbs. So whatever herbs are in your garden or in your pantry, mash them into the potatoes and adds a little more, more versatility. And then what do we have here? That's a braised beef rib with still mashed potatoes, yeah. still on the bone, um, and tomato. Well, thanks, Andrew. 
I'm 2010 Olympic gold medalist Heather Moyes, and I eat PEI potatoes. Thanks for watching.